Welcome back, guys. Today we'll bring you another lovely animal. The most requested design from last video's comments, Akita dog. So now we're adding in the color. At this stage, the sugar is still extremely hot. As you can see, while we pour in the, the food coloring, it steam out the water right away. Now we're pouring the sugar on the cooling table to cool it down to a temperature that we can work with. As you can see right now, the sugar is still super soft. That means it's still very, very hot. So we need to spread it out on the table every once in a while to make it cool down evenly fast. So now we're gonna add in the citric acid. So today's flavor is tangerine, which requires quite a bit amount of acid. From the previous video, people ask us where the acid come from. So it comes from a well-known fruit, lemon. So now we're cooling it up on the granite table right here. This table serves as cooling off the candy evenly. While we want the candy to cool off, we have to spread it out and fold it nonstop so that it cools down in an even speed. Many viewers ask us from the last video with different colors, do they have uh, the same flavor or different flavors? 
the answer to that question is uh, they all have the same flavor for the same batch. It's just the color that's different. However, all the candies in the shop are different flavored. Here we go. So right now I'm stretching this big piece of candy. We're gonna stretch it until it's white. In order to do that, we have to stretch this on the hook about 120 times, sometimes even 200 times. By doing this, what I'm doing is actually folding tiny air bubbles into the candy. What the air bubble does is that it reflects uh, the lights, so it makes the candy more opaque and more white in this case. And it's also gonna add a great texture in the candy. It's making the candy really easy to chew and crunchy. That's why our hard candies, they're chewable. Now I'm gonna put this piece of candy on the hot table where we shape the candy and maintain its temperature. Look how wide it is now. One, two, three. This is a much smaller piece than earlier. Nonetheless, we had to still stretch 120 times. For smaller size like these, we don't need to stretch it on the hook. We're gonna do it by hand on the table. So we're gonna start off today by making the eye of the dog. So the upper part of the dog is orange colored. So now we're putting on water. Water is like super glue for candies. That's what we use to stick one piece to another. So as you know, the uh, Akita dogs, they have a little kind of a eyebrow on top of their eyes. So this is what I'm gonna make right now. So from one eye, we stretch it really, really long, and then we cut in the middle. That gave us two identical eyes. So we don't have to make the eye twice. Now we're gonna assemble the two eyes together.
we gotta make sure we put it on the right orientation. You don't want one eye up, one eye down. So now we're making the nose. So well, now we have the nose, we're going to attach the mouth underneath it. Now we're going to put the nose and the mouth with the eyepiece together. Now we're going to wrap around the entire face. Now these triangles are going to be used for the ears of the dog. Excellent. Excellent. Pi. Now this is where the magic happens, how we make this giant piece of candy into small candies.
Now we have to chop the candies one by one. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. To thank all those support that you gave us during the year, we would like to choose 10 lucky winners for the candy we just made today. Uh, to find out more how to win, visit our Facebook and Instagram page. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, au revoir. Au revoir.